you're watching the Prozac's Project YouTube channel. So here's a few tips before you get started. The day before you work, if possible, squirt, spray everything down with some like PB blaster or some sort of penetrating oil. And then when you go to work, first thing you're gonna have to do, hold it steady, sorry. Pull out the bolts like that one right there. The bottom bolts, let's see if I can zoom in here. So I pulled the two bolts out of that and came loose. They are, one is right there. You see it hiding up in the, where's my finger? There is. One goes right there, the other one's right up there. You take those two out, it takes off this little heat shield that covers the wiring harness, and then you can get to the stuff underneath. So after you get the bolts for the heat shield pulled out, so it's pretty much directly below this one's another one. You have to access it from under here. I used my long extensions. I think that's like a 12 inch and a six inch extension. The wobbler, because it's slightly off kilter, so it's gonna be like that, 10 millimeter. All of those bolts are 10 millimeter. So you can see how it's coming loose. And I found the source of the exhaust leak right there around the rim of the flange. Well, Soon that exhaust leak will be fixed. And this is exhausting. <laughs> so, just as a little pointer, I didn't use an impact on the one that's right down there that you can't see, because I couldn't get a good angle on it, so I just used my breaker bar. It was really tight, and then just slowly rounded it off. My 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench, and I was, Good representation at all. There you go, it's better when it sits in there. So you able to put it in there and then just ratchet it away. So like okay, well I'll go to something easier. I went to these three bolts right here, this one, this one, and one on the other side. After a bit of work, that one's finally snapped off. Before you get started, make sure you have something that you can chop the old manifold off with. There we go. See how well it works. So that's the part I just chopped off. It's amazing. They expect a V8 to flow through this little log manifold. But you can see, maybe you can't. Let's do some better light. Right here. It's kind of your typical. You can actually see light through there. That's most of the way around this first one at least. Don't know if it's on multiples yet. We'll get there. All right, got them all cleaned up the best that they will. Now it's time to put the new header on. So I wiggled them down through here, stuck them down underneath the exhaust down there. Didn't put the O2 sensor in, had it in, it was getting in the way. So now I have it down in there. Now I'm gonna go down below and twist it around into place. And there we go, rotate it into place. Now, now I've got a gasket. Got a bolt in on each side, and now the gas gets in. Now I just gotta 
put the gasket in there. But the one thing I ran into, this may just be my case, that is different threads than the bolt. Goes on a little bit right there and then stops. And then, there we go. All six of them are the same and I need all six of them for these six longer bolts to do the the flange right there. So I have to get the appropriate hardware now, which is very surprising for as much as these things cost. So what is my exhaust leaking? This setup was all good. Oh yeah, look, look at this. This kind of perturbs me just because like really? A huge lip all the way up. I do not think this was factory. It may have been, if so that is ridiculous. So you just kind of notched a few holes and then welded these things up on it. And that's that one that was really leaking. As you can see, there was no seal around it. Not even a walrus. And yes, that is RTV on there. And if you look down here, this was against the head. They were trying to ensure that they weren't going to have an exhaust leak rather than just buying actual good gaskets. Isn't that ridiculous?